Hello, Mario. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Web crap of the week. The program where we collect all of the crap on the internet that we see in the week and collate it all together to make a web crap of the week. This week we've got 46 slides of crap. That's a that's a shit ton of crap for you to see. It's some awesome stuff here, so just um you know, put your feet up, get some popcorn, and, well, sit back and just watch and enjoy the crap that can be brought to you by the nature of modern scientific uh, endeavours on the web crap of the week. Just uh, think yourself lucky that you get to see this exclusive show at no real cost to yourself. So, yeah, just sit back and enjoy it. So let's go over to the big screen and a word from our sponsor, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, AOC as she's known, features so much in this Web Crap of the Week um, show that we've decided to ask her to be sponsor. She says, yes, like and subscribe. I think based on the theory that all publicity is good publicity. Uh, she's becoming, um, beginning to make a name for herself as a bit of a, um, you know, a, a person who does um, some quite unusual and uh, perhaps dumb things. Uh, maybe that's warranted, maybe not. But uh, some of the stuff that she's been attributed to um, is marvellous, you know. Like um, there's a s various theories around that the Pythagoras died well before his theory uh, came to light and then in fact his followers uh, discovered the theory and attributed it to him. So, I mean, this may well be the case here for uh, Acacia, uh, AOC. But uh, anyway, thanks very much for your uh, support of uh, the Mario channel and we appreciate the content that you bring with you. So, all good, let's uh, move right along. But first, a look at our thumbnail. What the hell? I've got no idea what this is about. It's somewhere in Russia that I encountered it. It's bear racing. Yes, bear racing on horseback. Horseback bear racing. Marvellous stuff. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. So, socialist monopoly. So you're playing Monopoly... After every trip, everyone knows how to play Monopoly. It's a pretty much a capitalist game, I think. So every trip around the board you pass go. If you're the leader, you must give one piece of property to the player with the least property. Same goes for houses, hotels, etc. Instead of collecting $200, you pay income tax of 35% to be split between the other players. Soon no one is buying property, houses or hotels. Eventually everyone quits trying and just waits for their hand out when someone else passes go. So, I mean, regard, I mean that's an interesting uh, thing there. I've never seen that before. Worth, uh, worth thinking about. Um, regardless of your political persuasion, um, it would be quite a boring game. So, I don't know. Do you just stop playing Monopoly or, or what? Who knows? Right. The worst thing about censorship is... Oh, okay. A priest driving home when he comes across a dead pig lying on the road. So he calls the police to inform them. A cocky sergeant answers the, the call. Uh, did you read him his last rites, smirks the sergeant. No, replies the police. <laughs> I thought I'd inform his next of kin first. That's the sort of quick response that my mother would have had. Very like those sort of quick responses. And here she comes. 
bought a can of fly spray today, sprayed it all over myself, and I still can't fly. I've seen that before with many other people, but oh well. Get, get you out there, one way or another. Everyone knows who you are. Please be seated. They'll be right out to get you at the Paranoia Therapy Clinic. Mm. Forget about organic food. At your age, you need all the preservatives you can get. True. What is so hard to understand? I was a bartender before getting elected to Congress. Now at 29 years of age, I'm an expert in economics, environmental science and constitutional law. Yeah, you make a good point. But hey, as long as you're out there, everyone knows who you are. And those eyes, those eyes. <laughs> oh dear, but... Thanks for your sponsorship this week. Appreciate it. Those who already self-diagnosed their symptoms on Google and just want a second opinion, please check yahoo.com. Hmm. If you don't watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. If you do watch a series entirely, you are not a true fan. You're only a true fan if you are powered by electricity, have multiple flat blades, and spin around really fast. A true fan. Well, they have a point. One of the design bugs of the 777 is that it will tend to lose altitude when the fuel tanks run dry. More crack investigative reporting by Major Media coming to you soon from a channel near you. CN News, CNN, Crap News Network. <laughs> yes, one of our, our, our sponsoring networks, the CNN, Crap News Network. Get your crap news here. <laughs> Whenever you are feeling like a moron, just remember Kim Kardashian played poker with mirrored glasses. Uh, there'll be a reason. My two hobbies are smoking marijuana and rescuing stray cats. <laughs> I've seen this one before. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. Mm, so good, so good. My daughter wanted a rabbit for Easter. She's not speaking to me right now. Hmm. I wonder why. Now that there is a big ass balloon. Who the hell would think of making that, spending a huge amount of time to make that? Mm. Oh dear, that's one big ass balloon. I can't even work out how it's working, really. Anyway, Happy Easter from the mammal who really lays eggs. Yes. The mammal who really lays eggs. Yes, it's true. Why do you flatten your hair? Because the hair gets straighter and longer. Why is your dick pinned? <laughs> ah, yes. So relatable. Hmm, visual gag. Think about it. <laughs> Yes, I've never eaten Nutella anyway. I'm having a breakdown. You'll be okay. Arr, okay. <laughs> clever, clever. I like that. There's some clever buggers out there. Definitely. Nothing is made in America these days. I just bought a TV and it said built an antenna. I don't even know where that country is. Hey. Publicity. She's doing well. I believe. I think. I have no idea what this is about, but I imagine that that girl has very good eyesight. Perhaps she asked for 
240 carats. I don't know. Does that have a ring of truth to it? Took the batteries out of the carbon monoxide alarm because the loud beeping was giving me a headache and making me feel sick and dizzy. <laughs> Love it. Yeehaw. Marvellous. Marvellous. I'd like to thank my arms for always being by my side. I don't know. I just liked it. It was clever, I thought. Autumn in New Zealand. This is so true. Four seasons in one day. Yes, this can be in a day, let alone a week, but it is so true. Although it's been pretty good autumn so far. The leaves are falling. <laughs> But we've had some good, long, uh, sunny days. It was um, fine today, but a bit sort of overcast, darkish. Interesting. Taxation as in terms of meat. Taxation is extortion. Taxation is theft. Taxation is a necessary evil. Who would build the roads? I love paying taxes and want to pay more. Based on steak preparedness or done very good do women shake the pump after filling up or is it just a man thing put your comments in below comments in the comment below the video comment on your favorite piece of crap or Maybe this one. Who knows? Up to you. 28 slides gone and ooh, 18 to go. Don't touch my Easter eggs. I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> yeah. Beware the lollipop of mediocrity. Lick it once and you'll suck forever. Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Nice, nice. What do you get when you pour boiling water down a rabbit hole? Recycling? Steamed buns? Holy water. Online death threats and prosecuted by the RSPCA. <laughs> Love it. There's some clever buggers out there. That was, yeah, awesome. I love that. Online death threats and prosecuted by the RSPCA. I'll have to use that one somewhere. I enjoyed it. Very good. You told me you'd spend your whole life trying to make me happy. I didn't expect to live this long. Ooh. There should be a whiskey truck that drives around blasting bagpipe music in the evenings and we run out with our money like an ice cream truck, but, you know, with whiskey. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> that would be a bit of fun, wouldn't it? Hmm. A man decided to cover up the tattoo of his ex-wife. It doesn't say which one is which. I've got an idea. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> I just liked it. I don't know why. Just a visual gag. Nice little visual gag. Tickle, 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 tickle. Stop, stop. <laughs> exactly what version of Flash did you download? Woo. Never had much luck with Flash. It always seems to do annoying things to my computer, speed-wise. Homicide victims rarely talk to police. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Hmm. It's almost like they're dead or something. And I guess not all victims die. I don't know. 
Interesting headline. Jack shits. Jack shits. The legendary Jack shits grave. Matthias Jack shit. Teresa Jack shit. <laughs> no, I thought Teresa Green. I want to go jogging, but it looks like rain. Yeah, it definitely does. Looks like rain to me. Hmm. Day 276. After sending out that message in the bottle stating my location, I've been bombarded with junk mail. <laughs> yes. Too true. Research has shown that laughing for two minutes is just as healthy as a 20-minute jog. So now I'm sitting in the park laughing at all the joggers. Yeah, that'd work. From the viewers. Sort of. This from the office notice board. Please throw your food out in the hallway trash. I think we would all appreciate the newsroom not smelling like day old ketchup all the time. <laughs> Sincerely, your passive aggressive co worker. Sorry. <laughs> Written in ketchup. Awesome work. Awesome work. Very good. Office timetable. Starting time, arrive at work, coffee break, check email, prepare for lunch, lunch, browse the internet, tea break, prepare to go home, go home, finishing time. <laughs> yes. Quite irrelevant, sort of. Although it's my experience that most people do far more work than they're paid for, m most of the time. Has been my experience. I haven't encountered too many workers that I would say don't pull their weight. Some are right on the borderline, but I would say most are right up there and most are uh, over overcompensate do far more work than they're paid for that has been my experience <laughs> visual gag mm. <laughs> i rather suspect that in this case the clamp is owned by the tank owner <laughs> To stop it getting stolen but depends on your point of view I guess <laughs> a pharmaceutical truck full of Viagra was stolen today police have asked the public to be on the lookout for a group of hardened criminals oh dear hardened criminals and Isaac the kids page here it is Slide number 46. His mum cuts his hair. Isaac, don't let your mum cut your hair. Don't let your mum cut your hair. A bit of advice. Rules for life. Yep, this little fellow here did, and look what happened to him. Well, I hope you uh, have a good day, and... Uh, Get a decent haircut. I think I saw a picture of you with a haircut um, just recently with a bit of gel in it. So quite a relevant little post, this one. So high five, Isaac. High five. I can do high five with that one. High 3.5 with that one. Um, high five. And uh, well, we'll see you when we see you. So moving right along. That's it, everybody. Thanks very much for liking and subscribing, watching the videos. Don't forget to make some comments. Tell us what your favorite bit of crap is and all that sort of stuff. And thanks very much for your marvelous support of the channel. I look forward to seeing you again, Web Crap of the Week, next week. Same time, same channel. It's the Web of the Week. That's all, folks.
This has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, capital of the Waikato, a small region towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, that little country at the bottom of the globe. Have a good week. More crap coming your way this time next week, same channel.